So, had you already figured out who'd done it? Well, back with me is a man who's known as Mad Magazine's maddest writer, Dick DiBartolo. Had you figured it out? No. <laughs> no. You know what? I thought I had what was going on until the very, very last reveal uh -huh. when the mask comes off and it's Nancy Walker. Yes. Like, Wait a minute. <laughs> Did you get it? No, no, no. no. But I did, didn't even do you try. Care? No, I didn't even try. No, it, it was it, just so crazy. It's crazy. All yeah. of it and it so much very fun. fun. I almost had the feeling that they were doing the mass thing, the mass thing, and then that they finally just said, "Well, let's let the last reveal be Nancy Walker. Why yeah. not?" You yeah, know, I exactly. don't think they even thought about the no. mystery. No, it doesn't, as you say, it doesn't matter. No. Now, uh, Neil Simon, the great Neil Simon, wrote yes. this. How do you think he compares as a writer of satire? to uh, Woody Allen, say. Well, you know, he was more uh, more Mad Magazine-like because the, the, the plot, the, there was a plot during most of the movie. All the characters stayed in character. Right. And what I like about Woody Allen is he does a lot of stepping out of character. You mm -hmm. know, you'll say a line and then he'll look at the camera and go, did he just say what I thought he said? Right, You know, right. and there's none of that breaking the fourth wall right. in the Neil Simon play. Uh -huh. But I, I like both of them, but I like Woody Allen because it's a little nuttier. Uh-huh, but Neil Simon's great with the one-liners. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, and a little uh, transition there where the nurse rolls him in on the, on the wheelchair. Yes. It's Miss Marples, right? Right. Turns out the one in the chair is the nurse. Yeah. The, the real yeah, old exactly. person. <laughs> it's a great switch. It a is. great switch that you don't see coming. Yeah, no. So many funny moments all the way through it. Uh, and again, Truman Capote. Have you ever done a satire on him in Mad Magazine? Well, you know what? I have not. Uh -huh. Only because some of his work is very serious. Yeah, in Cold Blood you can't yeah, do no, I... a spoof on. No, not no, at all. Not at all. Yeah, he just seems so uncomfortable in the movie. <laughs> yes. But, yes. But it made it fun having him there. Absolutely. Rather than just having another actor. Yes. 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 Well, rolling on. Dick and I are only halfway through our night of movie spoofs, and up next we're going to bring you a western spoof, one with James Gardner in one of his most popular movie roles. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, James Gardner's word is law and support your local sheriff. Then Christopher Guest draws the fine line in This is Spinal Tap. And Carl Reiner directs the oddball New York set comedy Where's Papa?